I'm not exactly sure whether I would encourage people to run out right now and, and buy uh, these uh, these cryptocurrencies, but um, but the, um, the the technology that people like to talk about is is the blockchain technology. I'm somewhat skeptical about how well that translates into good investments. I would be sort of long Bitcoin and neutral to skeptical of, uh, of, of just about everything else at, 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 this, at this point. That was the co-founder of PayPal, Palantir, uh, Peter Thiel, speaking to me about blockchain and Bitcoin in an exclusive inter interview last week. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey also said uh, he sees incredible promise in Bitcoin. Dorsey saying that, uh, here's what he told the Times of London, the world ultimately will have a single currency. The internet will have a single currency. I personally believe that it will be Bitcoin. Joining us right now to weigh in on that is Overstock.com CEO Patrick Byrne. And Patrick, obviously you've been on the show a lot and talked about uh, the, the wonder of Bitcoin. Okay, we got to get to this hat that you're putting on. But that's the first time that I ever heard anybody say they don't trust blockchain, but they trust Bitcoin. Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel. Interesting. He's normally a very smart guy, Peter Thiel. I didn't th I think that was the smartest comment he's made, but he may be seeing something I haven't, which wouldn't be the first time. I think of the blockchain, the underlying blockchain, the technology has this unbelievable promise to reshape civilization. I think of Bitcoin as something that may happen, may not happen, whatever. But so I think the main event of this all is blockchain. It's very curious to me that he said that. I wonder, I'm going well, to look that up and un try to understand what he means. You've been, you've been using Bitcoin and you believe it is going to be used uh, more prevalent? Well, to me, but the, to me, the main event of Bitcoin is not Bitcoin. It's the underlying ledger technology, which, which is, is called blockchain. blockchain. And it's this, it's, it's like you have a ledger like your granddad ran his hardware store out of, and it's cryptographically protected, and it's a magic ledger. Wherever, it's immutable, and so it had all these magic properties. There's all these things you can do with it. So that blockchain is what's really going to change the world. Okay, I think it does have some magic potential, but I wonder... How many people are actually using that magic right now? Oh, we are in the very earliest stages of adoption. We're introducing a blockchain version of Wall Street called T0. Uh, yeah, let's talk about why you have the hat today, because the Securities and Exchange Commission is cracking down on cryptocurrency. Uh, this increased scrutiny is impacting, is this impacting your plans for the coin offering? They have sent us a letter about this. I, had th I understand I have a... I have a meeting on my calendar next week with some ladies and gentlemen from the SEC, so I'm sure I'll have a, I'll have a report afterwards, Maria. But Are you going to wear the hat it. to the meeting? I think, well, I think they, they wouldn't expect any, anything less, either that or my Maoist jacket that I wear on the show with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. my Maoist general jacket. Yeah, yeah. By the way, men should wear hat and hats indoors. That's just a general rule. So I know. But well, this I is mean, great we'll swag. on the side of that. It's nothing else. Well, it also might ruin your beautiful hair. Well, thank you. Ooh, I thought you didn't notice. <laughs> you don't want to Hat head, but the SEC. No, no. no but I actually think this is quite <laughs> legitimate. I think that it's actually overdue. I was wondering last year kind of where they were. It's been kind of surprising to me about how slow they've been to react. Last year, there was this explosion of something called the ICO, initial coin offerings, uh, billions and billions was raised. It sure looked to me like it was way outside the law. And I'm kind of surprised the SEC took so much time. But finally, around July, they made one opinion, the Dow decision, where they started hinting it was outside the law and then nudging and nudging. And now, a week or two ago, the SEC chairman came out and said, all of that stuff yeah. is, you know, belongs treated to securities. Okay, so if you buy that security, what exactly are you buying? What do you have ownership in? Well, if you buy a token, if you buy a, a security token, Think of it just like a share of stock, but but when you it's a slice of the company, it's a piece of the company. If you buy a security token, the big coin explosion yeah. we were talking about last year, initial coin offerings, most of them were things called utility tokens, utility utility coins, and that was, as far as I could tell, a real way to pretzel around the federal regulations regarding the offering of Patrick, securities. Patrick, are you going to sell the business? The stock moved on this speculation. Boy, everybody seems to know what the stock, they know what the stock moves on. If we, we are in discussions, and I think I have a shock collar tied under my collar, if I say the wrong thing.